Welcome to Ninox Essential Series. In this video, we will take a deep dive into Ninox most used fields as text, number, choice, and smart field, just to name a few. Each field has a more options section and knowing what is behind it will give us skills to use Ninox to its full potential. By the end of tutorial, you will be one step further in efficiently automating your business processes. Let's start! In our essential database, we have a table exploring fields. We will open our form view that already has fields. And now we are going to explore each of them step by step. First one, it's a text field. Text field is among the most important data types in Ninox. Sometimes text fields are even the best way to record numeric values. This is true for numeric codes such as postal codes, item numbers and telephone numbers. A code might start with a zero, which a number field does not allow. Our text field has a field name, applicant name. Label position can have a multiple positions. Top, like we have at the moment. Then it can be left, placeholder, or completely hidden. We will choose top. Require determines if the field must be filled in. If we change to yes, and there is no value entered, Ninox shows a warning. And that warning is the border becomes red. And when we hover, error message is visible. Please enter a value. Default value defines a value that is filled in automatically by Ninox anytime you create a new record. Let's test this. Amazing. Then we have min and max length determines the minimum or maximum number of characters that must be or can be entered in this field. If the limit is not met, Linux will give a warning. Value too short, minimum length. So we can clear this. It was presentation only as well as can delete this record. Under our text field, we will say more about the tooltip box. A tooltip is a hovering text that is triggered by a mouse over effect. So let's see how this looks. Applicant name and surname. As you do not have a mouse on your iPad, it will not work there. Let us leave the text field and continue exploring other fields where we will mention all the options we did not so far. This is our date field. Date field itself can be chosen from the calendar or we can enter the date manually on our keyboard. Let's select today. Also, default value can be today. We can uh, show in calendar. This defines if the data records of this table are displayed in the Ninox calendar. 
then the color determines which color it's used to display the data records and uh, use this option it's very handy to be able to distinguish different entries quickly show as it's selecting what is going to be written in the calendar we can choose applicant name and uh, anniversary makes it possible to repeat an event each year especially birthday and we do that by choosing yes and then the entries display on that day independently on of the year but in this case we do not need that so let's see how our date is going to be presented in the calendar so we have jane as we selected the applicant name and the color yellow let's save our changes and go back to our exploring fields table let's jump to our smart fields first it's a email field that let you enter email addresses and support sending emails directly from ninox we have default value we have a subject you may enter a subject line that will be automatically added when hitting the email button on the email field it even allows for embedded calculated values with formulas we can have subject feedback from linux body as with the subject you may enter a default email body uh, we will this time use a field applicant name in the curly brackets because like this we will in each body have printed the name of the applicant what is very handy okay so let's enter the email and let hit the email icon and this is what we have dear jane we are happy to inform you pretty cool so when clicking on the email icon we are going to be directed to our email provider set on our computer the same it's going to be when hitting the icon of the iphone and another very interesting smart field it's a location where we are entering google maps And this is how our location is saved. With URL fields, you can enter an internet address and call the web browser to open that address. Like this. Pretty cool, right? Let's jump to our brutal salary field. What is actually a number field number fields record number values and support their formatted output for example as an amount in the currency number format determines how the number will be displayed note the format 23 percent adds a percent sign to the number However, the number it's not recognized as a percentage when doing calculation, so you might have to divide by 100 to get the result you are looking for. 
In our case, we want to add a currency, Euro. And we will put on three digits. Okay. Let's see. Our candidate wants to have a salary of 68,000 euro per year. Okay, this was easy. Let's move to the more options. We want to display this field only if, if let's say applicant name, it's not null because somehow this is logical, right? If we don't have an applicant, then also we don't know what kind of brutal salary he is asking for. So if we remove Jane, we can see the brutal salary field, it's gone. Filling the applicant, the brutal salary, it's back. Also, over here we have trigger after update defines a trigger. We will spend a bit more time in another video where we will have introductions to triggers. Okay, let's jump to the image field now. Let's move on to an image field. Our image field, it's called job application. And here we will be saving cover letter or CV that our applicant sent us. So we can insert any photo or any file document from our library. In this case, we will upload the cover letter in PDF. And let's see what is behind the image field. New its handle file as, as Ninox suggested, any file. And also by default, the size it's contain, but also we can change that and please follow the changes inside of the image field. So we can choose original, cover, or stretch. But contain is something what is a default and give us the best overview. Under more options, we still didn't mention allow to read and allow to write. Here we can choose between everyone, admin or editor, but we will be touching this topic in more details in another video about user management. The same it goes for writable if and binding. For that, we will dedicate more time in the dashboard video. Choice field is one of the most exciting fields in Linux. We have already created choices for the different hiring stages and uh, we can see that by selecting one, for example, HR, an appointment field is showing. So we will come to that in a second. Let's first explore what is behind our choice field. Ninox offers multiple selection options. We can show our choice field as a combo box, what we have now, as a radio buttons, or as a switch. Maybe we can make this a bit wider, like this. Also important to know, each of our choices has their ID and that it's very important. Let's check why. 
So our appointment field, it's recording two points in time, start and end. So let's choose now. Okay, so over here, we wrote a very simple line of code. Display field only if hiring stage is equal to one. This one is the ID from the choice field. We know that, right? Let's move on. Hiring manager. We see appointment field change and we can make appointment for tomorrow with hiring manager. Let's check hiring stage two. Then if everything goes well, the applicant would meet with the team lead, let's say on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, it will have a test. And at the end, it's going to meet a team on Friday. Amazing. Hiring stage five. Also, we will show in our calendar applicant name and the hiring stage. So let's check our calendar. Ninox.